Marquise, uh, what was kind of I – mean, you guys were in the playoff race up to the very, very end. What was kind of going through your mind when the, the Steelers kicking that field goal, that game-winning field goal going through, and you kind of knew at that point you weren't going to go to the go to the playoffs? I was disappointed. I mean, you know, with everything we've been through, just the fight in this team to even be put ourselves in this uh, position, it was disappointing. But, you know, the reality is, you know, we didn't do enough to uh, – get in the playoffs and we had it, you know, down to, you know, one game. Garrett Downing. Marquise, along those lines, how do you look at this season? Uh, you guys, you know, kept fighting. You had a ton of injuries, uh, came down to the last week, um, but you're also not where you want to be. How do you, how do you kind of look at this, six, this season from a big picture view? Uh, it's frustrating. I mean, you know, early on, we wasn't playing our best ball, but we was finding ways to win. So, you know, even those times when we were winning, you know, it was all like, all right, y'all, let's really get this going. And then, you know, getting into those moments and then falling short is just even more disappointing knowing you could have won those games. So it's just been a frustrating season. But at the end of the day, I'm proud of, like, all the guys, all the coaches for, you know, even when those tough losses happen, we come back the following week, you know, we put it all on the line again. Bo Smolka? Hi, Marquise. I appreciate you coming on here today. <clears throat> At this time last year, Marquise, you were saying this was a team that finished first in running and 31st in passing, and the offense needed more balance. Did you? I know Lamar got hurt for the last month or so. Did you feel the balance was there this year, or what's the next step for this offense? Um, as an offense, I don't feel like we really played to our potential all season. Um, running, passing, I feel like we got a lot left, you know what I mean? Guys came in and, you know, helped us out tremendously. But, you know, losing Gus and J.K., you know, that was a big hit for us. But, you know, I know going forward it gives the offense a lot of courage and a lot of excitement knowing that, you know, we didn't play our best ball and, you know, we found ways to win however we had to do it. You know, if it was games where we had to run more, games we had to up-tempo, it was games we had to pass. So, you know, it feel like we show we could do a lot of stuff with this offense. So, Putting it all together and putting the pieces, adding people back and getting more people is going to be, you know, exciting. Jonas Schaefer. Thanks for doing this, Hollywood. Uh, just to follow up on what Bo asked, uh, you know, obviously getting Lamar back is going to be a, be a big help. But I guess what would you like to see the evolution for this passing offense in this next year look like? Um, just continue to, you know, take the steps. I mean, as – uh, pass catchers as our quarterbacks, you know, as we keep, you know, uh, learning each other, just, you know, keep improving however we can, you know, it's just quick game, deep passes, just cover all bases, you know, we got the guys in the room to do it, so we just got to go out there and execute. Jerry Coleman? Hey, Marquise, kind of a two-part question. What was it like uh, in the room with the final meeting, and what did the coach have to say to you guys? And could you take us through the play yesterday? I believe it was in the second quarter where it looked like you had the ball in your hands for the touchdown, but it didn't come through. Um, you, you asked him about the what team meeting? Yes. Did you guys get together today with the coach? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just – um. Oh, positive, you know. I mean, of course, we all disappointed, but, you know, just looking at the positive going into next year and just um, encouraging each other and lifting each other up because, um, you know, we know what we're capable of. So this offseason, God's going to go to work and come back ready. And as far as, you know, the, uh, yesterday, just got to come down with the ball. I mean, we, we set the play up right. Just got to come down with the ball. Take a couple more here for Marquise. Kurt McEwen. Hey, Hollywood, I know it's a little consolation, but congratulations on the 1,000-yard season. Thank and I'm just wondering if you, ha if you have any advice for some of the young guns on the team, like Rashad, Tylen Wallace, some of these young guys that are going into their first offseason. You've been through a few. Anything that you can tell them so they don't slip a little bit or, or help them out? Um, just going to work, honestly. I mean, offseason, you got a lot of downtime to really reflect on your past season and really improve, you know, that's the only way you're going to really last is keep getting better because, you know, we guys come in this league uh, each and every year. So you got to continue to improve, get better because 
individually, we all know what's, you know, our deficiencies. So we just got to hit those hard in the off season, and come back a uh, brand new player, you know, the following season. We'll go to Ryan Mink. Hey, Marquise, again, congratulations on a thousand yards. How do you kind of evaluate your season individually? Obviously, really hot start, but it was trouble. Tough getting big plays down the stretch, but still, obviously, like you said, a thousand yards. Uh, I feel like I had a week, a thousand yards, but, you know, I'm grateful, uh, thankful, but, you know, definitely not how I wanted to end the season. I mean, started the season off good. And, you know, uh, one of the key things I talked about was consistency. And I felt like, uh, the later half of the season wasn't that consistent. So, you know, for me, I'm going to go back to work and come back and, you know, a uh, thousand yards really just like a base, you know, that's just really want to get in the playoffs, win Super Bowls and, you know, become a better player. We'll close it out here with Jeff Sarebeck. Marquis, uh, you go to work hard in the off season and, and do a bunch of different things. I mean, all your teammates have always said that. What in specific do you kind of want to go to the lab and, and work on this off season? What for you is going to be your focus? Um, I think everything. I want to get uh, even more uh, bigger, stronger, faster, um, and just keep working on my route running. You know, um, we get moved around with the offense. You know, work on my routes from the inside, work on my routes from the outside, work on you know contested catches, and just really everything that I possibly can get better at. And by the time September comes back around. And Marquise, we really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.